The adjustments we've looked at so far in Quick Edit have been global. That means they've been applied to the entire image. Now there may be times when you only want to apply an adjustment to just part of an image. So how can we do that? Well we can do that by selecting a portion of the image first. Then any adjustment will only apply to that selected portion. Now to do this we're going to use the Quick Edit Selection tool. Now here in the Quick Edit workspace I'm going to go over to the toolbar and click on the Quick Selection tool. Now down here in the tool options you can see the options for the tool. Now I'm going to make sure that Auto Enhance is ticked because that will give me a, a better edge and what I want is Add to Selection. So I want that every time I click I actually add to the selection that I've already made. Now I can change the brush size with this slider or I can use the keyboard shortcut of the square brackets and the square brackets are next to the P key on the keyboard. Now in this image here this wall area here is a little bit dark and I'd like to try and lighten it a little bit so but I don't want it the adjustment to affect the rest of the image so I'm going to try and make a selection first so I'm going to click and I'm going to drag to make my selection Now that's not bad, but you can see I've made a little bit of an error. I've got too much selected here. Well, that's not a problem because what I can do is now go to subtract from selection mode. Click on that and you'll see there's a little minus appears in the uh, cursor. And now when I click and drag, I'm subtracting from the selection. I think that looks not bad. Now before I consider this selection complete, what I want to do is to look at it in the Refine Edge dialog box. So if I click on the Refine Edge dialog button, it brings up this box here. Now if we start off in View mode, I can view this selection in several different ways. I can view it as Marching Ants. I can view it as a Ruby Lith overlay. I can view it on black. I can view it on white. And I can view it on black and white or on layers or I can reveal the layer that's underneath. Well I think this is going to be best for me if I just leave it as black and white. And I'll just click back on this little icon here just to close that dialog down. And by looking at this edge I can tell that it's a little bit ratty, it's a little bit harsh. Could do with a little bit of smoothing out. So I'm going to go into my Adjust Edge sliders here and I'm just going to put a little bit of smoothing on. It's not a, not a very big image this so it won't need much and a tiny bit of feather just to soften that edge off and then I'm going to click OK. Now that I've got that selection in place any adjustments I make now will only take place within this selection boundary. So let's try a levels. Let's see if I can just lift that a little bit so we'll We'll try the Shadows tab. We'll use the slider and I'll just see if I can lighten that up a little bit. Probably to about there. Let's have a go at the mid-tones. Again we can use the slider or we can use these little thumbnails. I'll try maybe that and then just fine-tune it a little bit. And then the highlights we can always try the highlights, say there, and just lighten it up a little bit more. Okay, well I've come so far, let's try now a little bit of exposure. So again, let's just try and lighten that up, not too much. Um, yeah, somewhere about there, that looks good. Now it's looking a little bit warm to me. There's, uh, there's quite a lot of red in this and this, this was quite a grey stone wall. So let's try and correct that. Let's go down to the colour adjustment and we'll get the slider and we'll use Vibrance and we'll just try and take off that redness. If you can't get enough with Vibrance then we'll try Saturation. Just drop that down a little bit more so we're getting back to more grey tones now which is what the wall actually looked like. And I'm, I'm liking that. Next I might look at the, the rest of the image. 
and think, well, it's still a little bit hot. It's a little bit too vibrant. So I'd like to adjust that now, but not adjust the wall because I'm quite happy with the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inverse that selection. So I, instead of having the wall selected, I'm going to have everything but the wall selected. And to do that, I'm going to go up to the select menu and I'm going to come down to inverse or you've got a keyboard shortcut of shift control and I. And now I've got everything selected except the wall. So I'll now go back to the color adjustment. I'll go on vibrance because I don't want a major change here. I just want it to be subtle and I'll just try and just take the edge off the, the warmth, the saturation in that image. OK. Yep, and I'm happy with that. When I finish with this, I can now deselect that selection with the, con with the keyboard shortcut Control and D. And we're good to go. You can see we've made a quite a serious improvement here. I've lightened up all this wall area here and I've just toned down a little bit the, the colours that's in the rest of the image. OK, so that's how you can use the quick selection tool along with the adjustments in the quick edit workspace to fix just part of a photograph.